explaining how to put together an anterior PA. In order to do so, you want to first put together your, your bite block. So you're going to take your anterior rod and your blue bite block. You're going to attach the two like that. And it should look like a set of stairs. So if it looks like a set of stairs, you've done it properly so far. Then you're going to take your blue target circle and you're going to slide it right onto there and you've achieved your setup for your anterior PA. So for patient comfort and proper positioning of your anterior bite block, you're going to want to apply a cotton roll to the bottom of your bite block using a rubber band. So you're going to wrap your rubber band around your bite block a couple of times, and that's going to hold your cotton roll there, and that's going to provide ideal positioning for your anterior bite block as well as patient comfort. So you want to start out by choosing the proper selection for adult and child, and then you want to move on and make sure you have the proper maxillary incisor mode selected. Then you're going to place the thyroid collar on your patient to protect your patient from any extra radiation exposure. So after achieving your anterior size 1 PA film, you want to place that with the X facing away from you and the A letter at the bottom wedged in at the bottom of your bite block. You then want to position the receptor parallel to either the long axis of the right central and right lateral incisor to try and position the receptor on the contact point between the central and lateral incisor. You then want to position your vertical rectangular collimator so it is parallel with the anterior rod allowing for proper exposure of your anterior PA. Then you want to press the button to expose. Position the receptor parallel to the long axis of the right maxillary canine. Have the patient slowly close on the bite block, then move the aiming ring towards the skin surface. Center the positioning indicating device so that it lines up with the blue circular target. Make sure your anterior rod and your rectangular collimator are positioned parallel to each other.